3 RC, we have another 3D printed jet, this time the F-22. Now this is another design from Kyle and it turned out phenomenal. This time we changed things up, we used the Bamboo Labs A1 and X1C to completely print this thing. Also on Bamboo's Aero filament, which is really sick. This is gray, it's PLA, it printed super nice. I also got a filament dryer and that seemed to help with a lot of the cleanup process. Uh, drying out the filament before using it. This thing turned out so sick. I did a copper canopy and uh, I couldn't decide, so I did a black one, a clear one, all of that. We're gonna be running a 1300 4S battery in this. We have a Spectrum four channel receiver. Those have been perfect for these 3D printed planes. If you guys are interested in anything to build this plane, I'll have it all linked down in the description below from the plane files to the receiver I use, the batteries, everything. Check it out down in the description. Let's get this thing in the air for its maiden flight. I'm terrified and excited. It's really cool hot glue in these magnets, holds the canopy on perfect. And then I have a little bit of Velcro down there along with Velcro on my battery. So that way it holds itself in place. Now this is a twin 40, which is so sick. Oh, I should turn on my transmitter first. All right, new mistake out of the way. Get that in there. And then there's also little CG bumps that are printed on the bottom of these wings. And I haven't done the CG, so we'll do that quickly. So if you look, see these little nubbins? Put our fingers right on that. I don't mind if it's a little nose heavy, but I don't want it to be super nose heavy, especially with a hand launch and no AS3 extra gyro. So we're gonna move it back just a touch. I think that's pretty good for a maiden. Okay, so let's check our control surfaces. We just have the tails. Now, if you see the tails are printed in PLA, not the lightweight PLA. This is Bamboo Lab's regular PLA, and that's to help the center of gravity a little bit. These are a little bit heavier, and then what's nice too is it's they're a little bit sturdier. There's actually a little finger cutout too for hand launching, which is super nice. We're not gonna chuck this as hard as the F-16 because last time that went straight up, uh, so. Oh man, it's always a little bit nerve wracking when you built it completely from scratch. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Here we go, here goes nothing. We got like a nine mile an hour crosswind right now. Oh, okay, come back, come back. Okay, all right. She's feeling good. Made me a little bit nervous at first, but then she dialed right in. No trim yet. Flying really good. Dude, <laughs> these 3D printed planes blow me away. So from the F-16 to now this one, I did add a little bit more expo and I turned down my rates a little bit on the elevator because the elevator was really spunky last time. I think I can bring some of the elevator back. It feels a little doggy on the elevator, but that's completely because of what I did. But man, it's flying like a knife, dang. And it blows me away too, because we don't have ailerons or anything, but I feel completely in control. It doesn't handle bad. We're already doing rolls. I really want to try a loop, but I'm, I'm a little bit nervous with uh, how I have the elevator set up right now. I'm at like 60% throttle. Let's see if we can do a little bit of a slow pass right now. That crosswind's blowing us. Dude, it's flying so freaking good. That copper canopy looks amazing too. That's full throttle. Cut her back a little bit as we're doing a tailwind. But guys, it's flying awesome. So good. <laughs> I haven't trimmed it at all. I don't think it needs it. It's flying so dang good. Oh, we tried a loop, it didn't quite make it. I need to get more uh, elevator throw in there. I think I'm running it at like 50, 58% elevator throw and then 40% expo because I was freaking nervous and I could, I could definitely bring a lot of that back. Dude, she's a floater. The F-22, such a great flyer. One of my favorite planes of all time. Getting to see this thing perform at EAA, it just, it, it, it'll always be one of my favorite jets. I mean, the 64 millimeter F-22 was one of the first planes I ever flew, and uh, I love that thing. 
So being able to 3D print one was amazing. Kyle's files are awesome. It was super easy to assemble. The Bamboo Lab printers were absolutely phenomenal. Sounds like our timer's coming up. So I'm gonna start thinking about doing my belly landing. Don't wanna get too slow though. But we gotta lower our altitude. I have a three minute timer on these 1500s. I don't wanna stall it. Oh, I, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. So we're gonna try to bring her out. I didn't realize how fast I was going. So we'll try to bleed off some of that speed in this next turn here, but we don't want to get too slow in our turns. Let's see if we can cut throttle, float her in, float her in, no rudder to help. Oh. <laughs> Butter, baby! Let's check her out and see how she did with this lightweight PLA. Not a scratch on her. This flew amazing. Guys, I was a complete noob. I knew nothing about 3D printing. Bamboo Lab makes it super easy. Kyle makes it super easy. I promise you, you can do this 100% on your own. If I can do it, anyone in the world can do it. I'm a freaking idiot. This thing's amazing. I got some more packs. I'm gonna keep flying it. Thank you so much for watching. Check the description down below to get all the parts so you can make one at home. And uh, we'll see you on the next Maiden.